What's good, YouTube? It's your boy K. I was just recording a, a video on, 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 on drill music. But since I'm here already, I got the lights on, cameras on, mics on. I figured I might as well take advantage. Um, a lot of you like my song, Black Tay and DNS, but you don't know what I'm talking about when I say Black Tay and DNS. So I'm going to make this quick and I'll explain to you Black Tay and DNS. It's actually very simple. It's a very crazy concept. A lot of y'all don't know what it is. It is a very brand new concept. Now, quick disclaimer, anything I say, purely fictional and entertainment. If I say I've been here, I've done that, that is lies, I'm purely entertaining you. I'm sorry, excuse me. Purely entertainment, so can't be used against me in any court of law. If I use something from somewhere, it is fair use. I'm not going to play the song. If you want to hear Black Chain DNS, go ahead. But I'm here to explain to you simply what does Black Chain DNS mean because people are confused. You are watching this video on YouTube.com. See, when you go to YouTube, when you go on any website in the, in the world, that website, like you, you might type in YouTube.com, but see, YouTube.com is registered on this thing called the DNS, which is the Domain Naming System. It's like a big international system the whole world uses to associate IP addresses to a domain name. Meaning, YouTube.com is not actually YouTube.com, in reality, you're tapping into their IP or their public address, which is probably less, it looks something like 112.64.21. That, uh, that is really YouTube.com. But see, when you go type that in, you're not going to type in 112. You're not going to type in that IP address. You're going to type in the thing that makes it easier to go there, which is the DNS, the, black, uh, the domain naming system. A lot of you that follow me might have had that experience with, uh, let's say, swiping, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to explain to you quickly what blockchain DNS is. If you happen to be around during something called Joker Stocks, which was, um, see, that's a very fascinating story, by the way. So Joker Stocks was a, was a website. Um, it was supposed to be a dark web website, but it was kind of on a clear net. It existed in something called blockchain DNS, which is a very brand new technology a lot of people don't know about. I'm going to explain. So check it out. Joker Stash was a website that sold stolen credit cards or hacked credit card information. And in its, in its, in its, in its height, it was the top one. It was the go-to. In the beginning, you can just type in Joker Stats, boom, you're on it. But later on down the road, it, could, it wasn't that easy. All right, because see, the thing about the DNS that we all use, to do that or get your website <clears throat> hosted on a DNS somewhere or whatever, you got to sign up with certain companies. But due to the illegal nature of it, you couldn't just go like, <laughs> You got to put in your real name and address and whatnot when you register such a thing, right? Because that's why we got the DNS lookup, you know? For example, who owns this guy's hating on me on sneakdissing.com? Hmm, what website is this? Who owns this website? We can all go look up DN uh, uh, on the lookup, DNS lookup, or many sites like it, which tell you who owns what website. Type it in. Sneakdism.com, that's an example, that's an imaginary website. Type it in, you can see that this website is owned by Sneak Disser, first name, last name. This is his address registered there. The dark web doesn't have that, right? The dark web, that's why it's kind of similar to the old web, where it's like, you know, like I said earlier, you go type in IPs, you type in X, Y, Z, one, six, four, pop, 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 the onion. That's how the dark web works. But blockchain DNS is a new form, which is kind of like similar to the dark web. 
it's kind of like its own form of dark web. But the crazy thing about it is, it's not hosted at any company. It is not hosted anywhere. It is hosted on the blockchain. Do you know what the blockchain is? If you don't, quickly, the blockchain is, the blockchain is a ledger. So you guys heard about Bitcoin. Bitcoin was the first currency to utilize the blockchain. The blockchain itself is a very brand new technology. It's like a ledger that is independent, independent of any company, banks, etc., etc., etc. It doesn't need anybody manually putting it in, info every time. Because if we had a person, we know that human beings are, are not reliable. We know that they might lie, cheat, steal, hide. If we had a government, they might be corrupt. They might want to frame you, put some fake, ah, uh, ah, uh, da, da, da. So, the blockchain doesn't lie. Bitcoin is independent because it functions based on a blockchain. Meaning, I can't steal from you or no, I can't fake it that I sent you money or you fake it that you sent me money. If you sent me money, we can both clearly see it on a blockchain. Right or wrong? Right, that's what the blockchain is. It's a ledger. It's a, I guess a record keeping way of, that is independent from any company, da da da. That being said, blockchain DNS is a domain naming system that is hosted on a blockchain. The type of domains that you host on a blockchain DNS, you know what they call them? Bulletproof domains. Now imagine this. Joker Stassel's height was the greatest, or not greatest, he was the biggest credit card marketplace on the internet at some point in time. Anybody needed a credit card, you would most likely go on a Joker stash. But you know what? It got so big that, you know, <laughs> FBI, even down to the Interpol, wanted to catch it. I wanted to catch Joker. Joker is believed to be in Russia. Cool. Now, The feds have claimed to have seized some servers that belong to Joker stash. I'm here to tell you that is absolute lies. They didn't seize servers that belong to Joker. They seized the proxy external server, which is kind of like a mirror link. It reroutes you to the main Joker. Now, and let's pretend that Joker, I'm just going to break it down and make it clear because a lot of y'all are confused. So... Let's pretend that Joker wasn't hosted on a blockchain DNS, and it was hosted on a regular uh, hosting service such as GoDaddy. GoDaddy, you guys know GoDaddy? Yeah, have you ever hosted a site? Mm -hmm. Go to GoDaddy, go to Namecheap, go whatever hosting service. Yay! If you would've hosted on there, Joker, you know what would've happened? The feds would've went to, jo to, to, to GoDaddy and would've been like, We command you, because they do use terminology like this. We command you to give us information on this criminal you guys are hosting on your service, Joker. <laughs> or no, no, no. What they they would call it a subpoena? I think this is a subpoena to give us information on this criminal that you guys are hosting. And then GoDaddy would have folded, of course, and would have been like. And then boom, they would have had Joker. Think about blockchain DNS. And by the way, just to say this, I am not recommending crime. I'm just fascinated by the technology that is the blockchain DNS. It's a brand new tech. Moving forward. If this, this, this would have happened if he hosted it on a clear net, on a normal hosting server somewhere on one of these servers. But the blockchain DNS doesn't work like that. See, just like uh, you guys know what PGP is? Or not, fuck that. Every Bitcoin wallet in the world comes with 12 words attached to it. 
or 12 or 11, don't quote me on it, I forgot. And they're in sequence, a specific sequence. Let's say you lose your wallet. Let's say whatever happens. Satoshi built this thing to be independent of any banks and corporation ever. Your key to your wallet back is your 12 or 11 words. That's kind of like the phrases that open Pandora's box or your treasure in this case. If you don't have those words, no one can get it. No government, no bank, unless you use Coinbase. Coinbase goes against everything they stand for or Satoshi stood for. But if you're one of those guys, you know, I'm just trying to tell you the, the, the technology and how it was built. It was built to not rely on a bank or a corp or give them any power over the person. Right or wrong? Right. Blockchain DNS works the same way. You have a public key and a private key. That's why I said if you guys know what PGP is, it works. The technology is very similar. So... If you don't have the private key to get into this uh, uh, domain that's hosted on a blockchain, you can't get in. You can't get in. You can't go. <laughs> you can't go up. I command you to give us info. You can't do that. It's not how this works. This is a blockchain. It's hosted on a blockchain. If you don't have the private key, you don't get in. Doesn't matter if you're uh, U.S. Feds. Doesn't matter if you're Interpol. They couldn't get in. So Joker went on and released a statement saying that these bastards have busted an external proxy server. Don't worry, though. Shop data is safe. But, you know, obviously, human being is human being. You know, I think he uh, is believed to have COVID, or he said he had COVID. And, you know, with the Interpol on your ass, you know, at some point, it's like, man, I had enough. So Joker retired himself. He posted out a very deep statement. I would love to read it to y'all. Uh, it's my other phone. I'm using my laptop to record. So I'll, I'll put it up here. And, you know, he posted a nice little message. Um, actually, I want to read it for y'all. I'm gonna, hey, I can, go, I can use Google while I'm recording. Okay. So Joker starts retirement. Cyber criminal Joker Stash retires with billions of Bitcoin. This is the message. Yep. Yep. Right here. Joker goes on a well deserved retirement. Joker Stash is closing. When we opened years ago, nobody knew us. We are, today we are one of the largest credit card, sorry, largest card dump marketplaces. Unfortunately or fortunately, nothing lasts forever. That's time for us to leave forever. We will leave Stash open for 30 more days until 2021-02-15. So all Stash users can spend account balances. On 21-02-15, we will wipe our servers and backups and Joker will fade to dark forever. These guys are rushing as fuck. Fade to dark forever. What you mean to the dark? Anyway. Uh, and mark my word, <laughs> you will never open again. Don't trust possible future imposters. I'll tell you, there's like 20 imposters right now as we speak. After 2021 to 15, there will be no more Joker. And no more Joker stash. Oh, lay. Powerful. That man was on that keyboard typing his ass off. Holy. Whew. Dear partners of Stas, oh, Stas, you can be sure that before we leave, you will get it all payouts. Contact me, you know how. <laughs> we were also, we are also want to wish. Let me read. Let me see some lean, man. This guy is typing his ass. Oh, Ale.
Be your partners of stats. No, I'm sorry, I'm reading the wrong part. We are also. Hold on, let me re- we are also one to wish. We also want to wish. He said, we are also want to wish all young and mature ones cyber criminals. <laughs> cyber gangsters, I'm sorry. Not to lose themselves in a pursuit of easy money. Remember that, remember, come up, that even all the money in the world will never make you happy. And that, ah, the most truly valuable things. Man, stop it. I get it. You got a nice car. Get the fuck on, man. Remember that even all the money in the world will never make you happy. And the most truly valuable things in life are free. Holy. He was typing. He was going in. This is, of course, coming from a man who retired with a Billy. Not a Billy. A Billy. Jay Z. Holy. So, Joker, with that being said, has retired and closed the site as he said he would. And just like he said it, now what the fuck was that? Just like he said he would, imposters did come up. I mean, I've seen some while I was researching, because I don't use these sites, but I was researching. However, the blockchain DNS technology, this was the first use of it being used because in order to access Joker Stats, you couldn't just go on jokerstats.com. It wasn't like that. And you couldn't go on Tor, even though they did have Tor links. But the way to access it was through uh, a browser extension for Firefox called blockchain DNS. And once you get that, this allows you to access a bunch of domains that you couldn't before, including .cc and .bazaar. So I believe it was jokerstash or joker.bazaar or jstash.bazaar. I believe that was the correct link at some point in time. It's a quick history lesson for you guys that um, never knew about Joker. Yes, they sell credit cards, and that's that's um. That's how, that's how you access the real Joker at one point in time. There's a lot of imposter links on the clear net. Those are fake. Those are not real. Those are the center taking people's money. They were making good money for a fake card website. Hey, I'm not going to lie. Hey, I see a good business idea. I got to salute you. Take my hat off. That was a nice little scam you guys around that um, fake Joker links. Actually, pretty genius. I can't hate. Shit. Hey, how are they? Hang on, love. It is. But I'm just here to explain to you what blockchain DNS meant and give you a quick history lesson on what Joker stash was. As far as the world knows, we really don't know who Joker is. No one knows who Joker is. We just know he is the dude that retired with a Billy Plus in Bitcoin. And he had his run. I believe it was a few years. Was it two to three years? Could have been four. But Joker had a nice little run and retired. And his message at the end really is powerful, man. Like, all cyber gangsters, all cyber criminals, whatever. That is powerful, he said. Most things in life are free. I'm sorry, best things in life are free. That's not to say that money is not important. But I'm saying... Once you get money, you understand what he's talking about. He ran up a billy, but the more money, more problems. So, I guess he learned that the hard way. But he is a Russian billionaire right now. He's an oligarch <laughs> somewhere in the world, huh? Bet you he can't leave Russia right now. Times are hard for, for the Russian people. With all the war in Ukraine. That too bright? I had it said like this, wasn't it? Anyway, these are my new lights. I just recorded a video on, uh, what, what was it called? I just did a video on drill music and a message to drill rappers and whatnot. It's a pretty long video, hour. 
good stuff to fall asleep to. I will upload shortly. Um, thank you guys for coming to my TED Talk, man. Okay. Joker Stash, Blockchain DNS. You just learned about blockchain domains. If you look up these domains, they are called unstoppable domains or bulletproof domains. Because the only person that can stop such a domain is you if you have the private key. Besides that, no one can access it. No company, no government, not a group of governments, nobody. It is unstoppable and bulletproof. And I believe that's what the web will be moving to at some point in time, the web 3.0. I believe that's the future of web. And, and, and uh, well, I don't know if that's the future because, you know, Facebook and them seem pretty happy with um, running the game right now. They are monopolizing on everything. I'm talking Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp. They are the big botnet. And, you know, they bend. They fold. So if you're doing anything on these platforms, I recommend you get your head up, you know, get, take your head out of your ass <laughs> and research and learn some more, man. That being said, I talked enough. If you guys want me to explain anything um, else, feel free to message me. Feel free to let me know what you want me to talk about. That being said, get in the comment box. Hit the like button. Smash the subscribe button. It's your boy AK. I'll catch you in the next one.